What is up, everybody out there? Artists of Strong Style here. Here to show you another deck profile. Right here, Gladiators. So yeah, this is completely 100% different. I'll admit to you that. Because this is not the actual way of how competitive players would always, yeah. Test Tiger and pretty much the Rescue Rabbit way. Me, this is not the Rescue Rabbit way. So yeah, if you've seen deck profiles, they always depend on using the Rescue Rabbit to bring out two gladiators out of normal. That level four, I, I forgot what the name was called, but yeah, it was a level four. Instantly straight like that to go into a link play. No, mine's completely different because, as always, I use it with the Kaijus. I know, almost every single deck profile I've done ever since, it's been with, it's been with Kaijus. Now, with Kaijus, I always say... It works with almost anything. So, how I made this is with the Kaijus. Now, how does it work? I'll show you how it works. And it gets more fun. Because I play for fun. Fun, be creative. Not be, you know, competitive and all you depend on is winning. Me, it doesn't matter if I win or lose. If you're just playing for fun. So, yeah. Gladiators. So, it would be Gladiator Kaiju. So... Test Tiger. Now, so, Test Tiger. Pretty much. All you're going to depend on is when you have a Gladiator on the field, you special you summon this, special summon it, tribute it to the graveyard. Now, what Gladiators do is they don't go to the graveyard. They go back to the deck. Shuffle your deck, special summon one other Gladiator besides the one you just have on the field. All the gladiators have effects. So most likely this whole entire deck is not... Your monsters don't go to the graveyard. They go to your deck. So, test tiger. When you have a gladiator on the field, you special summon this from your hand. Discard it. Tribute it to the graveyard. The gladiator you have on the field will be put back to your deck, shuffle, bring out one. <laughs> and you bring out one. A different one. So, that's Test Tiger. Now we'll go with, okay, the actual Gladiators. So, Lakari. Lakari is an 18 attacker, but when, is, but when you bring out Gladiator, Beast Lakari, from a different Gladiator. So, yeah, when it's special summoned by a different Gladiator. So, yeah, discard, when it goes back to the deck by a different Gladiator, and this is special summon, it'll gain 300 attack. So, it just becomes a 21 attacker. So, not that bad. Lakari. Then you got pretty much the main one you're going to want to deal with is Bestiari. When it is special summoned by a different Gladiator Beast from your deck and you special summon it to the field, you get to pop a Magicka Trap on the field. So most likely it's a destroy Magicka Trap. And you are going to need this if you're going to play your Fusion. <laughs> now we play Darius. Darius, Darius is pretty much when it's special summoned by a different gladiator, special summoned to the field, you get to bring out one from your graveyard. From your graveyard, bring one back. So yeah, even if, yeah, you're, you can bring back it, one from the graveyard. So yeah, even if one of your gladiators went to the graveyard, special summon, you can bring out one defense mode. Effects negated. So yeah, just like any kind of way your yeah, gladiator would be special summoned, the effect would be negated. But that's a way to already to have gladiators on the field. So Darius is almost like a monster reborn to them. Then we'll go with the questing. Equesting. One special summon out from the deck to the uh, to the field by a different. Of course, yeah, different gladiator. Get any gladiator, get anything that's called gladiator from your graveyard back to your hands. Most likely you're going to want to do this if you have used already gladiator war chariot. And I'll explain what gladiator war chariot is. You're going to play the one Vespasius. Now, okay, one special summoned. Okay, yeah, 23 attacker, but it can be special summoned. 
pretty much, yeah. It gains, let's see, how much attack? Yeah, at the start of the bat at the start of the damage set, if you if your gladiator beast monster battles a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only use this effect of gladiator beast Vespasius once per turn. While you control this card, special summon by an effect of a gladiator beast monster, all monsters you control gain 500 attack at the end of the battle phase. If this card battled, you can shuffle this card into your deck, special summon one gladiator beast monster from your deck. So just, yeah, a gladiator attack in your hand, special summon it. It'll gain attack. Pretty much, you're only going to want to possibly run one of them. I would only use one. And then your other ones is Marmelo and Retiari. Marmelo, when special summon from your deck to the field by a different gladiator, pop one monster on the field. Retiari, when special summon from the deck to the field by a different gladiator, remove from play one card in your opponent's graveyard. Not bad. So yeah, each gladiator have effects. One special summon by a different gladiator beast monster that would go from your deck, and you special summon that one from your deck to the field. So that's what the gladiators do. Now that's all the gladiators. So... So yeah. The gladiators, I mean... Yeah, now we go with the kaijus. <laughs> kaijus always, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, six kaijus. Always, like I say, you want to run at least a minimum of maybe five, to, or how I have it, there are six kaijus. Remember, always, different attacks you're going to want them to have by. Because, yeah, Kaijus. The main rule of Kaijus, you can only have one on the field. But it's also to s screw up your opponent. Whatever they have, you're going to give your opponent a Kaiju. You're tributing their monster. Doesn't matter what tribute it is or, you know, how many it is. It's just that one tribute. Give your opponent a Kaiju. Now, they have a Kaiju. You have no Kaiju and you have a Kaiju in your hand. You can special summon that Kaiju. So that's what the Kaijus do. And yeah, only one. So you already have one on the field, and you have one in your hand? No, you cannot play another one. It's only one. And yes, there we go. That is the lineup for monsters. Now we'll go with spells. You're going to want to go Proving Ground. Proving Ground is like reinforcing the army, but it's to the gladiators. Activate this. Add one level four or lower gladiator beast monster from your deck to your hand. Too bad it cannot go for a the um, beast right here. Because that's a level 7. You can get any other gladiators if you want to also. You have no gladiator in your hand yet, but you have proving ground? Use proving ground to search for one. Whichever you've been choosing. Now, of course, always, if you're going to play kaijus, interrupted slumber. Destroy all monsters on the field, including yours. You're going to give your opponent a kaiju. You're going to have one of your own kaijus. Pretty much, that's what it is. And then just, yes, you're the only monster that has one. I'm the only one that has one. So yeah, the only monsters on the field. But here's the thing, when you play Interpreted Kaiju Slumber, you must attack. Your kaiju must attack. Unless you're just playing it on your, like, you, um, I don't know. How do I explain it? Well, pretty much, yeah. When you have a kaiju, you're, you're giving your opponent kaiju. So, yeah, it's only a 1-1 one -one monster. Your kaiju must attack. So, that's why I'm saying you have different attacks of what the kaijus are. So, give your opponent the lowest attacker of the kaiju you have that is still in your deck. Then, the other effect is 
When this is in the graveyard, you can move it from place, search for any kaiju that you want from your deck, add it to your hands. So yeah, kaiju, interpret a slumber. Then you can just go with Raigeki and Harpy's Feather Duster. Your destruction magic cards. So yeah, destroy all monsters, doesn't target, destroy all magic and traps. I don't use Dark Hole because that's destroying your own monsters as well. You don't want to destroy your monsters. Of course, yeah, you might do it for Interpret Slumber Kaiju, but there's a reason of doing that. Because of, you know, playing your Kaiju way. But just destruction, simple, like that? No, you don't really want to do that. So that's why I don't use Dark Hole. Now, okay, a trap lineup. If you've seen decks, they do not play their trap cards. Or they don't play trap cards. I do, so I like playing it. So, trap cards, here we go. Main actual trap card. Bad Eater, War Chariot. Pretty much the main trap card you're gonna wanna have in the Glider Beast deck because when an effect monster is activated, if you control a Glider Beast monster, you can activate this, negate the activation, and destroy it. Now, when you play this and you have activated it already, remember what Equesty does. It can bring back one. So you can bring it right back, set it once again. So it's like you're using Gladiator War Chair like nine times. <laughs> so that's the whole point of the deck, War Chariot. Again, like I always say, those players, they don't play these cards, but I do because I like to play for fun. So why not play trap cards? Here's another trap card. It's a new one for the Gladiators. Gladiator Beast Charge. Gladiator Beast Charge is target one face up, target one, pretty much, let me read right here. Gladiator Beast Charge, target face up cards on the field, up to the number of Gladiator Beast monsters you control with different names, destroy them. So yeah, a little helper to destroy cards on the field. Yeah, so how many Gladiators you have? If you have three, destroy three cards. And remember, called Gladiator. You want to get this right back? Go for it. And yeah, you want to get monsters back? Anything that's called Gladiator. You want a monster back? As long as it's called Gladiator. But most likely, Equesti is for most likely, I would go for my War Chariot right back. But yeah, get anything. Here's the thing, Wabaku. When you attack with a gladiator or when a gladiator is about to be attacked, you're going to use the effect of bringing out one. So, that's the whole point of the deck. So Wabaku, you take zero damage, but your opponent attacked a gladiator. So that would mean your Gladiator can be put back to the deck, special summon out another one. And you take zero damage because of Wabaku. So when Gladiators attack, does not matter what it is, or when attacked, special summon out one. Wabaku. And then just Storming, Quaking, and I like to use Solemn Strikes. You could use whatever Solemns you want, if you want to use Solemn. You can go Solemn Judgment, you can go Solemn Strike, you can go Solemn Warning. I just go Solemn Strikes. So yeah, a bit of a trap card lineup. But, okay, yeah, that's the deck now we'll go with, all right. One of the main ones out of all is the Gladiator Beast Gazaris. Here's the thing also about the gladiators. Yeah, fusions. Now, of course, we all know if you're gonna play a fusion, you need polymerization. No, this is called contact fusion. So this is like using, so pretty much it's almost like doing, um, it's called contact fuse, which is like, pretty much it goes like this. Gazaris, you must need bestiari. So bestiari you have on the field. If you, have another, if you have another gladiator, 
So you're going to contact fuse, which means you just take them both out. Put them back to the deck. You're going to bring it out instantly, straight like that. It's called contact fuse. You don't use, pretty much, you don't use. <laughs> and when you bring out Kazaris, so yeah, just simple like that. Bring both out. When you have Gazaris out, destroy two cards on the field. When you attack or when attacked, put it back to the deck. Well, put it back to your extra deck. Special summon two. Whew. Bring whatever you want, except for bestiary. So you can go into like, here's a combo you can do. If you want to bring out two. So let's say, okay, you're going to bring out two. You can go Bestiary, Equesti, activate Bestiary's effect, pop a card on the field, use Equesti, get like, yeah, if you want to get War Chariot right back, then Contact Fuse, go Gazaris, pop two more cards on the field. It's like little combos. Let's say you could pop three cards in, instead of just the regular two of Gazaris. So simple little combos like that you can do. More than you ex more than you think you can do. Then you're gonna go with Heraclinos. Okay, this one you need three. Three gladiators. Again, contact fuse, but one of the gladiators must be the quarry. Not that hard to do, to tell you the truth. 3,000 attacker. Of course, yeah, when Heraclinos is out, let me read. Yeah, like they all say right here, yeah. You do not use polymerization. You can discard one card from your hand to negate the activation of a spell or trap card and destroy it. And then, yeah, just discard cards from your hand. And we're gonna go with Gladiator Beast Dama Tanius. This one's a huge one. Okay, to do this one, you must use this Posterius. Now, of course, yeah, I do have three and I'm only using one, but it's not that bad to have that many in here. It's not bad. <laughs> Just have them in there. You must have three, but one of them must be, yes. Now, of course, yeah, all of them say you do not have to use polymerization. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can negate the activation. If you do, destroy it. You choose the attack targets for your opponent's attacks. At the end of the battle phase, if this card battled, you can return this card to the extra deck. Special summon one gladiator. It's a 35 beat sticker. So let's just say, okay... You have this out, you have this Posterius, well, let's just say, yeah, two, two you have out, attack, you have this in your hand, special summon out, it'll gain, you don't have to always bring these right back, you can just say end phase, you know, like main phase two, and go into one. When putting them back to the deck, it's up to you if you want to do it or not. Near Klinos is any three gladiators. It's any three. Cannot be destroyed by battle. If this card attacks or is attacked, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. The end of the battle phase, if this card was attacked or attacked, you can shuffle it into the extra deck, special summon two gladiator monsters, any two. And then Esidari, it's any two gladiators, but it has no big effect. It's just a good bead, 
It's just a 25 attacker. And it's, yeah, it's just a fusion. So not that bad to just have them. And then the only link, Test Panther. Test Panther. Let me read. Two monsters, including a Gladiator Beast monster. It's a link two. Now. If this is linked, you can add one Gladiator Beast card from your deck to your hand. You can only target one Gladiator Beast monster from monster you control. Shuffle that Gladiator Beast monster into the, into the deck. If and if you do, special summon one Gladiator Beast monster with a Different original name from your deck. This is treated as a special summon by Glider Beast Monsters of Monsters Effect. You can only use it once per turn. Now, okay, yeah, always. But then here's the arrows it's pointing to. It's pointing to the front. It's pointing to the left side. Not pointing to here. So you only got your two spots right here to do Test Panther. So yeah, this is the new one for the Gladiator Beast. So, yeah, the thing is they have effects when they're special summoned from your deck back to the field by a different gladiator. So you can go equesting, attack, or war attack. Doesn't go to the graveyard. It'll be like main phase two. You're going to activate the effect, put it back to your deck, bring out one. So it could be like, yeah, you want to bring out bestiary, pop a magic or trap. Or you just have a, yeah, you're like storming. Yeah, bestiary. You can summon one out. You can attack, attack, or contact fuse. Don't have to use polymerization. Get these two, put them back. Go into Gazaris. Go into a play of whatever you're going to do. Remember, even if you have a gladiator, monster, attack, you have. This Posterous, special summon as well. If a gladiator beast attacked, you can just keep it on the field. Attack, take out Gazaris, put it back to the extra deck, bring out two, except for a bestiary. So it can be Mermillo, pop a, mo pop a monster on the field. And maybe you want to go into what I put you. Or yeah, you can go Marmillo, Equesty for your two. So Marmillo, destroy a monster. Equesty, get anything back that's called Gladiator. So yeah, most of the time I would just go War Chariot. So yeah, you have Storming, War Chariot, Face Down, and again, you have three monsters right here. You can Contact Fuse, go into your, yeah, your 35 Beat Sticker. And then yes, you have War Chariot. Anytime a card effect will activate, War Chariot. And then just, yeah, you have your 35 Beat Sticker out. You do not have to do it. You, you don't have to contact, you don't have to throw it away. You can just have it still on the field. You summon out, attack. Put it right back. You can just go back again into Best DI. Pop a card or. Let's say just, yeah, okay, in the graveyard. Darius, bring back one. Effects negated of popping a magic or trap. But when you have two gladiators out. Once again, destroy, destroy. Now you have two fusions out. You still want this on the field? Fine. Attack. Bring out two. You can go La Quarry. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> then, of course, yeah. Darius, if you want to.
and then maybe Red Sea Eye. You have all this. You have three. You want to use the quarry to bring out a Heraclanos? And then, yes, up to you if you want to bring it. If you want to have it on the field, you can have it on the field. You still have this? Okay. Summon. Tribute. Take this out. Play whatever. Get whatever. You get the idea of what gladiators do. You have kaijus. Give your opponent a kaiju. But remember, even if you have this out, let me put the camera up so you can see what I mean. You have all this. You have two kaiju monsters. Let's say Gamma Seal and your Mist. Here's the thing. They have a monster. You don't want to deal with that monster. Give them the kaiju. But you do not have a kaiju on the field. They have a kaiju. Special summon your kaiju. Whatever you want to do. So gladiators are just fun because they... It's called tag out. I'm going to tag out, bring out one. Tag out, bring out... You're just going around and around and around using the extra deck, using your deck. It's like you're playing your deck to the field, not playing your deck from your hand. Think of it that way. Deck to the field instead of deck to the hand. <laughs> That's what you're doing. And yes, if you want to, Panther. Yeah, have Panther out. Play your combos, what you want to do. Or just, yeah, just a simple little thing. Okay, Gazaris. And you have Laquari. Okay. Gazaris, Laquari. Okay, Laquari can't special summon by Laquari, but it can be special summoned by Gazaris. So you can go attack, attack, take out. But Gazaris. Of course, yeah. So just, yeah, Gazaris, you can bring back Lakari. So just, yeah, bring out, bring out two, even if you wish to also. So yeah, that was by Lakari, by Bestiari. That's just almost, again, you can just do the same exact thing again. Bring them out because it was by a different gladiator. So you can go from Laquari to Bestiari, Gazaris into, like, let's say Laquari and Retiari. But you can put a defense mode, use the effect, banish away a card. Then, if yeah, you just want to have Laquari out because it's, it'll become a 21 attacker, here you go. Contact Fuse once again. Destroy, destroy. Look how cool that is. You're just going around and around and around. And with the kaijus, that helps. That's all you're doing with the gladiators. You're circling around with your deck to the extra deck, extra deck to the de uh, to the field. Your deck to the field. That's all you're doing with this deck. You're swirling around. And that's what makes it fun. So, that was the gladiator and then yeah. Kaiju. So, hope you on it. Hope you all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. I will show you more deck profiles later, and be playing more of the Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. Talk to you later. Peace.